England. Alrighty. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to Bike Up Japan. So as you can see, I'm back on the old two camera setup. Because GoPro thankfully sent me a replacement camera for free. Good old GoPro. As much as I moan about the cameras, their customer service is awesome. Anyhow, so today I'm going to the UK's largest motorcycle dealership. Uh, now there's this place called the Superbike Factory. Now they've got a few showrooms throughout the country, but the one I'm going to is, I think the largest one, it's in a town called Macclesfield, which is pretty far away. I'm about 45 minutes away according to Google Maps and I'm gonna go and check out some bikes. So, unlike most dealerships, these, these old boys, they've got everything you can think of and it's not just like one or two year old bikes or, you know, modern stuff. They've got quite a lot of old stuff as well, which I found quite interesting. So, the couple of bikes that I'm kind of interested in, there's a K1 Jigs 1000 that's kind of overpriced for what it is but very low mileage then they also got a k5 jigs 1000 in all black which i absolutely love all black ones just reminds me of the ghost rider and they've also got a really low mileage um aprilia tuono but the old one the old v twin one with the, the old rotax engine so i'm kind of interested to go and have a look and uh, i'm probably going to ask them to give me a valuation on this old girl because i put it on ebay about two weeks ago didn't get any bids so yeah bit gutted about that but yeah we'll be there soon so i figured it'd be rude not to make a video so i've got my uh, osmo in my backpack so let's go and have a look at some sexy old bikes all right guys so i've made it to the super bike factory as you can see behind me so let's go inside and have a look what they've got <laughs> in the sky there on the roof you can see it says aisle one two three five seven it goes all the way to 20 plus and it is literally just filled full of bikes so i think this aisle we're on now is the smaller bike so we've got lots of drums in here and then down at the other end there's also a lot of uh, smaller bikes so you can see there's l plates so these are like beginner bikes starter bikes small cc and then on the left here I think these are Chinese made bikes. So again, this is kind of like the cheaper corner where you can get your learner bikes and your small CC bikes. But we're not interested in that, are we? We need big bikes. So I think we need to go over there. know what I'm like. I found myself a 990 Super Duke just like I used to have. But the price is way different to Japan. Still, 
They're hard to find these days, so not too bad. Anyway, this aisle, which is aisle nine, is one of my favorites so far because there's lots of orange paint. Have a look at these beauties. This one's got to be had, isn't it? 1290 Super Ducar. Oh yeah. Yeah, there is literally so many bikes that it's hard to choose a decent one. Not a decent one, it's hard to choose one that you like because they're all bloody good. 690 Duke, you still have one of those? Another 1290R. Another 990. Very nice. Alright, here we have possibly the best corner. Lots of GSXRs. I think this is the one. I wanted to come and have a look at. So let's get the bike out and have a quick look. But well, we are here. I mean, there's Jix's galore. Which one do we choose, eh? Which one? All right, so behind me now you can see right at the far end of the, of the showroom, it's customer collections. So I think that's where they do the pre-delivery inspection and cleaning stuff, so let's have a look what's going on there. Right, so it's more than just pre-delivery inspection and stuff in here. It's like a bit of a lounge where you can chill, go over the final details of your bike, probably have a nice cup of coffee, and have a look at your beauty all cleaned up, ready to go. Very cool. Right, so another one of the cool things about the Super Bike Factory is you've got these machines here where you can do your finance checks. So you touch the screen and it loads up all the um, forms that you have to fill in, your name, address, your salary, all that kind of stuff and uh, basically they say you can choose your bike finance it and ride away on the same day oh i found another classic look at this this is proper probably got a proper price tag to go with it but this is a lovely bike yeah ten thousand pounds well that's about what you pay these days but that is gorgeous right now this is this is a bike segment that I can see myself getting into in the future. These kind of cafe racers. Look at this, this is pretty cool. I've got to say, Triumph do make seriously cool bikes these days. Please do not touch. Look, but please do not touch. Plenty of women have said that to me. What is this one then? A Thruxton 1200R. Again, that is really cool. I like that. There's actually quite a lot of SP2s here. There's that one that I showed you earlier, then there's this one. And I just spotted another one just over here. In black, black and silver. Very nice. Man, this place is dangerous. There's so many bikes that I want. Right, so this section, we've got a lot of what you would be calling the super nakeds, I guess. Lots of sexy triumphs. I mean, I've said it before in this video, but triumphs do make gorgeous looking bikes these days. Look at that, I would love that. That's sex on wheels, that is. Along with a triple engine sound to go with it. Oh, a bit of an older one there, is that a 1050? Twin headlight one? Is that the one that Tom Cruise used in um, Mission Impossible? Yeah, lots of Triumphs. Ooh, that looks nice in red. Speed Triple RS. Oh, that's another oldie. Yeah, look at the new ones though, they're so gorgeous. Don't forget, I did a test ride video of these in Japan, so I'll put a link up above. I mean, just look at the calipers. I just love the forks and the brakes on these things. Proper gorgeous. Right, I had to get the hell out of there as quickly as possible because I could see impending danger to my wallet. There was so, so, so many good bikes in there. It's unbelievable. And uh, yeah, like I said before, the one of the good things is, is it's not just um, new bikes. They did have tons of stuff that I'm really interested in, like the RC8. Oh, okay, thanks Google. So yeah, the RC8 was gorgeous. A couple of 990 Super Dukes I really liked. K1 Dukes 1000, like my old one. Oh man, just so many cool bikes. But where I've set Google Maps to now is a really good road that's around here that the lads in there are all saying they all go so 
it's only two o'clock now we've got a bit of daylight left so let's go and check it out is it doing its fucking trick of turning itself off again doing that old trick is it Bye guys.